Yo, I guess Lotus Rage 3 really is Uzi's last project, man. And I guess he's apparently on his final contract of his deal. Because I remember he signed to Rock Nation. I think it was Atlantic Records or something in that range or something like that. But, man, Uzi is one of my favorite rappers of all time. And just hearing him retire is just like, damn. Just damn. He's only like 28, a little bit upsetting. And... I don't know, like, he has capped a few times before just saying, like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna retire. And this was, like, between the the full contract situation back in, I believe it was 2019, 2018 range when he did end up signing to Rock Nation. So this could definitely be capped, but I don't know. The signs are definitely pointing that, you know, he just kind of wants his own time and apparently just being, I guess, like a normal person, if you know what I mean. But this is what he ended up saying on his IG story. The most attention I could get is by dropping music. I understand you don't believe me, but it starts with me to show you that I'm actually serious. I'm very stressed out and done with so many voices controlling my life. It's like I never lived for me. I don't know, like, just like hearing this and just like reading it, it's like, man, you're like a multi fucking millionaire, bro. So it's like. I don't know if I like fully believe what he's saying. It may just be like a full marketing tactic just for his new Love is Rage 3. Which, I don't know, just like his whole rollout situations have just been so damn confusing. Because like between Eternal Take and the Pink Tape, it was a three year break in between. And then all of a sudden, right after he drops the Pink Tape, he starts announcing Barter 6 or Barter 16. Which is obviously kind of, you know, just like... I don't know how to explain it, just, I don't know, I guess like a part two to Barter, Barter 6 by Young Thug, which was originally the Carter 6 by Lil Wayne, but I don't know, it's just like, I don't know, I don't know if I believe Uzi necessarily, and they said, I would give up on all the money and perks that this comes with to live a perfectly normal life, and I'm okay with that, hmm, I don't know, I still feel like he's just like, He's just trying to promote some new music, you know what I mean? And he says, why not stop now because business doesn't work like that. And I have one more album to turn in. After that, I can finally, genuinely smile. I just don't know. I mean, there's like a, I think it's like a 70% chance that he may retire after Love is Rage 3. But realistically, I think he'll just like, just take like a long three year break and probably start dropping music again. Because if you think about it, I remember Jay-Z said he was going to retire, Logic said he was going to retire, and look at them, they probably all came back. And even like Nas right now, like he's dropping like straight up heat, he dropped Magic, Magic 2, King's Disease, King's Disease 2, King's Disease 3, and he's like in his 50s, you know what I mean? E-40 is just about 60 and he's dropping music. But let's see what else he says. I've been getting judged from day one. I never respond to negativity. I have a talented, but I also have heart, and I've been holding in a lot. I'm not as close to my family as I should be. My relationship isn't in the best shape. I just want to breathe. So, I don't know. It's just like really, it's really hard to believe what he's saying just because like he's a multimillionaire. But I do understand like the situations of just being that like that fucking famous probably has its downs as well you know what i mean and then he says even more but don't get me wrong i have a lot of supporters that love me and love what i do and i've also changed many lives and every single one of you have changed my life i can never repay my fans for the blessings that you gave me i've been distanced from everyone but lately even if they're standing right next to me yeah i don't i don't know but i really hope Boozy doesn't retire he should just flood the market, just drop maybe like two EPs a year, not worry about the whole album rollout situations, and I think he's good, but I'm definitely stoked for Love is Rage 3, because I think Love is Rage 3 will be a great project, in my opinion, you know what I mean?